William Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Takam on Sky Sports Box Office. Kugan Cassius Life on TV, MTK Global at the final press conference here for Joshua Takam, also White and Lamius. I'm joined by trainer Mark Tibbs. How are you, Mark? Lovely, thanks, Kugan. Mark, you're a little bit tired this morning. Do you know what? Afternoon. I've Even. been tired for a long while, but you know, we've just got to keep going. Now, I've had a good sleep last night, too, so we've got a laying. This is how I look on my lanes. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Um, yeah, what's your thoughts ahead of uh, Dylan's fight with uh, the Nordic nightmare, uh, yes. Robert Alanis? It's a, it's a good fight, it's a good fight. Um, the boxer versus the box fighter. Dillian being the box fighter. And uh, Dillian's uh, uh, mindset has got better and better. Um, in the last, uh, since, 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 you know, Derek Chisora fight. And uh, we went out to America, that was a good experience against Michael Tan. Uh, Malcolm Tan, sorry. Uh, so, so, yeah. So we've been in the gym all the time, continuously. Uh, not, not, not wearing ourselves out. Just going through certain things with certain situations, and and you're going to see the um, you're going to see the, the benefits Saturday night. So yeah, but it's a it's a good fight for sure. Delaney's is a good boxer, a very good boxer, and um, he does everything well if he if you let him. Yeah. Has the talk of this potential world title fight with Deontay Wilder, has that been distracting for Dylan or yourself or the team or the camp? I've not noticed it, to tell you the truth, you know. Um, I personally fight the job in hand. You know, I always uh, look ahead a little bit uh, by myself. But now and again, we're obviously now and again in, in camp and at dinner, we discuss certain situations and that, and you know, you can't help talking about them. But um, me and Dillian uh, stick to what we know, and that's preparing for what's in front of us. Obviously, listen, I'm not suggesting you to uh, uh, overlooking this, which is a tough fight with Robert Reynolds. When you hear stories that Deontay Wilder wants $7 million to fight Dylan in, in February or March or whenever, yeah. what, do you, what goes through your head when you hear that? Mark? Well, what goes through my head, uh, if, that's, if, if that's true, uh, he's, he's shying away from Dillian. Uh, it's, it's, it, you know, he, he don't want to fight Dillian. Uh, that's what he says to me. So that's only a good sign. It's only a good sign, and uh, he's very. Dillian White is a very clever, smart operator when he sticks to being smart. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and, and and in the boxing world, another smart character. We're all animals. We sense them things, and we know. We you know we, we know what's what. So um, it doesn't sound like he, he wants to fight uh, Dillian. Yeah. Well, listen, before any talk of Wild, obviously he has a job to do this week on Saturday, so I might best of luck. Uh, a couple right. of days away, and uh, yeah, Cardiff will be rocking come Saturday night. Yeah, it's going to be a good night. Cheers. All cool. the best. Thanks, Jogan. Top, top man. Good Thank man. you very much, Thank Mark you, Tibbs. Thank you.